Michael McGlinchey gone in 60 seconds as sublime goal followed by clumsy challenge. Michael McGlinchey gone in 60 seconds as sublime goal followed by clumsy challenge Michael McGlinchey slots a beauty from just outside the penalty area in the all-white 6-1 win over the Solomon Islands. In the space of 60 seconds, Michael McGlinchey went from culture to clumsy and that could end up costing the all-whites down the track. In the 80th minute of their 6-1 World Cup qualifier win against the Solomon Islands on Friday night, he used all his finesse to score from a free kick. And in the 81st, he went diving in with his studs up on Solomon Islands defender Jose Znoro, hitting him in the shin and earning a yellow card that could have easily been red. He was substituted immediately. All Whites captain Chris Wood handles the Solomon Islands players as Michael McGlinchey is shown a yellow card for a clumsy studs up tackle. It only takes two yellow cards in World Cup qualifying for a player to receive a one match suspension, which means McGlinchey is now one away. Michael McGlinchey and Chris Wood took some time to decide who would take the penalty kick. In the end, McGlinchey took the kick and found the back of the net for the All-White's fifth goal. That he got to take the free kick in the first place was impressive, considering Chris Wood was on the verge of a hat-trick, and he got to complete it. McGlinchey said there was definitely a bit of discussion before he lined it up. Taken a free kick just before, Woodsy. And I says to him, I think this is more my range, a bit closer in, and he says, nah, I'm on a hat trick, I'm having it, and I says, come on, look just let me have it, and he went okay, and I put it in the top bin. The Solomon Islands goalkeeper dives in vain in a bid to stop the shot from Michael McGlinchey. Winning the right to take a free kick from a Premier League striker is no mean feat, and McGlinchey said he definitely felt he had to deliver. I knew I was under pressure, because he was like him on a hat trick and standing over the ball, and I says I can get it up and over the wall, so to do it, when he came over, I says look, I told you. Pumped up from scoring his first international goal since last year's Oceania Nations Cup, McGlinchey then went and made a tackle in a manner that was a bit too enthusiastic. Michael McGlinchey is congratulated after scoring against the Solomon Islands. I apologise to the player, I think I just had a rush of blood, it just scored the goal and I dived in there. It was a shocking tackle. And I was lucky probably to stay on the pitch. As a result of his yellow card, McGlinchey almost certainly won't play in the second leg in Honiara on Tuesday, where another would leave him on the sidelines for the first leg of the Intercontinental Playoff in November. He is joined in that predicament by Michael Bogsall, who picked up a yellow card on Friday, for a rather innocent challenge in the third minute. And will likely ride the pine on Tuesday too, with Andrew Duranty an obvious replacement. Michael McGlinchey has been a mainstay of the All Whites lineup since Anthony Hudson took charge as coach. Clayton Lewis, Kip Colvey, and Liam Graham are the others with a yellow card to their name, but none of them are as important as McGlinchey or Bogsall who have both started 19 of the 23 matches coach Anthony Hudson has been in charge for. Yellow cards are likely to come thick and fast in November, as the All Whites try to cope with the attacking threat of the fifth best South American team. It can seem a bit harsh, as a player could get two yellows in seven matches, and miss the second leg of the Intercontinental Playoff. It is, however, less harsh than it was four years ago, where cards were accumulated starting at the Nations Cup, and players could have been suspended for the second leg of the Intercontinental Playoff against Mexico, after picking up just two yellows across 12 marches, 
a situation Chris Wood, Ivan Vyselish and Leo Bertos all found themselves in. With the five goal buffer heading into the second leg the All Whites should have little to fear, and the biggest question will be whether they can maintain their level from Friday, where they won 6-1. We just try not to let any complacency come in, said McGlinchey. Anytime you play for your country you try to put a performance on like we did last night. It was nice obviously that from start to finish we did that, and we want to take it over to Honiara now.